the studio with me today, I have my dear friend, Dr. Irina Alstantio. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Thank you, it's Caroline. So exciting. Thank you. I'm so honored to be here with you. We've been talking a lot over the last couple of years. years. Yeah. Um, tell, and I, tell our viewers what you do and who you are. And yes, I'm an endocrinologist. I, I was trained in internal medicine and endocrinology. I'm practicing endocrinology right now. Uh, but I want to um, start by um, telling your um, listeners that how we met. Yeah, because that was a huge um, breakthrough in my personal life and yeah. that's what uh, attracted me to your ministry and your work that you're doing um, I was going through uh, breast cancer and because I don't never had any genetic background all my tests were negative for any familial inherited kind of cancers Amazing. I was very shocked I also was a, a Christian and I love the Lord and uh, of course why, why is, <laughs> is happening, the big yeah. question why is it happening to me which is not the right question to ask but that's what I did yeah. so um, when I talked to my oncologist of course to go through surgery through chemo I said why well, you know, what did I do wrong what should I do better I, I don't want to have this or other issues like this so he just said you know have 50% chance of leaving and you know um, we don't know exactly why people leave yeah. and what happened to the ones that actually don't make mm -hmm. it so that was a really you know shocking <laughs> scary thing for me because I have you know a little one at home exactly. and an older daughter and um, I wanted to help myself so yeah. I was reading through many many things and I came across your books um, now I knew that I was you know uh, battling I'm a type A personality and all my life I and, and that's not a bad no, thing no, you know so um, I thought thought I did all the right things. I worked hard. I loved what I did. Um, but of course, you know, nobody's perfect. So, um, uh, I, I yeah. realized yeah. by reading and reading that the, um, the way you think, it's very mm. important. You may do the right things, yeah. but you may have toxic thoughts. Yeah. And then in your uh, first book that I read, um, who switched off my brain, is like you you had so many connections with endocrinology that I actually never um, was taught this. in in the medical school or in my you know residency fellowship it's this mind incredible. connection mm -hmm. and it's like whoa you know this toxic thoughts that I had you know in in toxic work schedules you know toxic thinking you yeah. have all those so clearly explained in there yeah. it's like wow all these hormones and I don't know anything about oh my it gosh. So uh, yeah. that actually determined... It's scary, isn't it? If it I just is. may interrupt you for a second there, if you think of it, I mean, people, they, they come into you very often with the emotional issues and yes. things. And, and there's that connection. You would think that would be like one of the first things that they would explain in or teach you in medical school. But see what, what I now, you know, looking back, it comes all to the worldview you have, you oh. know? Mm -hmm. Because when you have a reductionist worldview, mm -hmm. like you many times talk about that, yeah. you're looking just at the physical part. As opposed to... As yeah. opposed to, uh, you know, human being, mm -hmm. it's a complex part, you know, mm -hmm. spiritual, um, you know, soul and mind, mind and, and, you know, body the, and the, the body, connection the connection. Mm -hmm. So, of course, mm -hmm. if we think we are just, you know, material, we're going to just think about things that we see yeah. and we can uh, study and of course I love science you know mm -hmm. but science um, is not uh, complex enough you know science is just looking at an observations you have yeah. to see and then see if your hypothesis is right so you do lots of experiments and you yes. either confirm your hypothesis or not exactly so you look you you work with palpable things yeah but we all know that we're not just, just that, that because yeah. what is love what is thought what is, what is anger what is joy that you have yeah. you know so and actually from your book i um did read other books and uh, another one i remember is the molecules of emotion yes, of dr candace, candace Pert. Pert. Mm -hmm. and it's like man she it's was an nih investigator yeah. so it's like she and she you know um explains in you know different ways he's like it's wow like her immunology. she started that her and her husband yes yeah. with a yeah. you know pain receptors yes, and all yes, that and stuff so like, wow, and, that's mm -hmm. amazing. So see, I, for the uh, first time, even though um, my worldview is I believe in God and Lord Jesus is my savior, yeah. um, I thought they're separated like we are always taught. And yes, uh, yeah. they're not. No. Because no. what you believe about yourself, you end up treating yourself like that. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Say that again. 
what you believe about mm-hmm. yourself, that's how you are treating yourself so like good. that. And of course, you're treating others like that. Exactly. So you think yeah. you're just a, a material, machine. a machine, Biological you know, you don't thing. have any history because you come out of, you know, nothing or come out of a soup or whatever, you know, <laughs> other, you know, <laughs> theories out are soup, out yeah. there. It's like who I am. I'm the daughter of the king. That mm. puts me in a different, different position mm-hmm. to treat myself well mm. and to treat others well. Mm. And see, you don't hear that in church and you don't hear that in medical school. No, schools. you don't. There's this gap, isn't there? There's this disconnect between It's a huge the spiritual. Disconnect. I've never understood that though. And if you think of the fact that science comes from the word skura, which means knowledge, and God is the source of all knowledge, so we're studying knowledge. You, and knowledge is all everything about spiritual body, everything about everything that we live as humans so you would think that that would be a primary teaching in any in any educational facility. Yeah, and you know the freedom of studying, and you know how can you be a researcher without being able to check into everything and to be able to explore everything? That's you know, you are not like reductionist. Oh, this is right. Yeah. You know, uh, we want to have access and to try things out that's the sciences and have discussions like we have with you exactly discussion is important because they're saying that this is the only way you know these reductionistic scientific studies i know you've read them we've discussed this before but how they'll do a study they'll get they'll get a patient to do to think this or look at that picture or do something and then they look at the impact on the brain then they say oh the brain made them do it Mm -hmm. but they've just told the person to do something and then they look at the results in the brain then they say the brain's making them do it they get it all back to front and then they that's what the that's what's presented to the public. So the public are thinking that their brain is who they are. And they feel like they've got no hope and no control. And you said that happens to your patients in your Yes, practice. because, you know, like, um, you know, I was without hope. You know, if you don't know as a scientist, as a yeah. doctor, how to help me, you know, of course, the drugs and the surgeries and, you know, I'm all for that. Yeah, but of course, it's God's gift. It's God's gift to humanity. Yeah. But I had to sort out for myself. And again, mm-hmm. the foods, the dietitian I had to meet with, they didn't even know how much I knew about the, you know, the healthy diet. So it's like, crazy. how can you be in a cancer clinic and, and you don't know, know how to not... eat properly? And, they, yes. and they're giving you, in the cancer clinic, they're giving them in chemo, they're giving them Yeah, the they had food. no no <laughs> dietary restrictions, whatever, just not to lose weight, gain weight. It's like, my problem is gaining weight, not, you know. <laughs> it's like, so anyway, so I didn't find for myself. The so that I you had to look for. So that's how I found you. Oh. And actually, I just want to mention glad that you found me. <laughs> I, I am glad because <laughs> I, I start you. changing, you know, things, how I think about, yeah. you know, we all go through stress. And so many times you say, you know, stress is good. And I always thought, you know, stress is bad. Now, yeah, yeah okay. If, you know, we have all this uh, endocrine mechanism, you know, the catecholamines, the metanephrines, yes. all these hormones. Yeah. Um, and we are built in such a way so we can, um, if, if a lion comes in the jungle you know you know all the stress yeah. mechanisms yeah. are yeah. in there but if you use the same stress mechanism you know just because somebody was rude with you or, or somebody mm-hmm. you lost something or you yeah. got a phone yeah. call yeah. like you mentioned and it's yes. like oh my gosh they're the same stress mechanism that yeah. you use like if it's a life-threatening emergency a life-threatening emergency our body's stress is therefore designed to work for us because if we're in a life-threatening emergency we need to know how to respond quickly with cognitive fluency and accuracy and focus and all that kind of stuff so there's stress working for us but people don't always use it like they do they you know they use it against them yes and you use them continuously so this mechanism Mm. these hormones that are very useful you know increasing adrenaline will increase your cortisol we're gonna you need more sugar you need you know you need brain brain functions on glucose so all these mechanisms are meant to be for a short time yes you take care of the problem and the life there, and then you yeah. relax and you yeah. go back into you know your normal but our normal in this day and age is just rush buzz, rush buzz, rush, buzz, rush. Buzz, buzz. Uh, technology technology yeah. until late at night you're ty- tired you don't go to bed night. then you cannot sleep because you're thinking about other things so again the way you think and you approach your issues all of us have problems you know yeah. we're living in this world and we come across different things we need to deal with i was dealing with this like 
like I was the only savior of the world. You know what I mean? He's like, I had to do everything. So, and everything, even talking to my patients, you their issues, I felt this image, you know, they were coming over me. I you was were taking them into a spirit. You I, were, you and I didn't know the, how to wow. protect myself, so, you know? Yeah, that's so that's point. what I learned that this stress mechanism are good to deal with the serious stuff. But then I know mm. uh, I need to learn how to live in rest. How to train mm, my mind mm. because it's a process. It's yes. not a pill that I process, take it yeah, and yeah. fixes everything. Yes. You know, I have patients that they, you know, they go through the same yeah. thing. And I was a physician and, you know, I was a Christian. So you're mm. not hearing in the, in the church, church or, or in, in the, the medical, medical school and medical world. This has impact on, on the your, disease because good. that's how I got the disease. You know what I mean? There that's is powerful. just, there's so many. Um, so what would you say to, um, what do you say to patients now that are in a similar state to what you were in? How, Cause you obviously. Yeah. So, so the, the thing patients? is, you know, when you see the patient for the first time, you need to really listen. That's good. That's you need good. to really listen because you don't know what, yeah. you know, it, it takes time to kind of figure out yeah. what the issues are. So you need to listen to the story. You need to find out about their family. So, you know, part of my, um, you know, history and physical mm -hmm. exam taking. And then depending, you know, they have a question about the thyroid or the adrenal. This is what they thought. Oh, I have all these symptoms. My thyroid is, is not working. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, a lot of times the, uh, the endocrine symptoms are nonspecific. So mm. you can have a heart attack and you have, you know, chest pain and yeah. palpitations yeah. and dizziness and stuff like that. Or you can have an overactive thyroid and you have palpitations and chest pain and your same mind symptoms is... Same symptoms. So you, same symptoms. So you have to try and discern. Yeah. So you need to discern or you can just go through this chronic stress. You do not have a disease yet. And actually before I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I had palpitations and feeling chest pain and feeling ah, this thing. Wow. So I went through all Goodness. the cardiology tests. Of Thinking course, I checked my heart. thyroid. Right, and my thyroid was perfect. Perfect, yeah. And your all heart was perfect. Heart was perfect. You know, just wow. premature ventricular beats that are insignificant, yeah, nothing to nothing treat. To but I had to take a medication to slow down my heart rate, and it's like you know that is not normal. I have no yeah. heart disease, but I have this episodes. I have yeah. no thyroid disease, but I have this episode. So what's going, so then so what's going on? Mind, yeah. And then, um, so what I tell my patients, you know, these symptoms are nonspecific. Yes, let's look at your thyroid. I, you know, let's look, make sure this is not going on. And then in the mm. second visit, you know, I can, if I just come to them and I say, oh, it's in your mind, that's what they were told before. That's what they're, you know, they, yeah, you, they feel they, rejected. They so feel I try and, to avoid and that. Almost, like, oh, and it's, guilt it's, it's, is yeah. like, you don't understand. So that's what I feel is it's working even if they don't have an endocrine disease if i pay yeah. attention to their if i listen to them yeah. and do what's you know normal to do yeah. then oh a lot of them have thyroid disease and then they are shocked why do i have this thyroid disease i put them on medication i go into the side effects of medication i have to explain you know mm -hmm. i do this because the benefits are better uh, if if we do it versus yes. we don't do it yeah but as a long-term treatment you know i tell them you know there is something going on in your life there is some mm. trauma. There is some stressor. Something in your mind, there is something you that you don't it. know. Yeah, you perceive it or different. They, do know. they, they may not know, it. but again, you know, in my you know uh, short time you that I'm with them, minutes, yeah. I can really address the no. the mind issues. But you know, in our clinic, we do have a psychologist, That's good. and it's really good because I can grab you can, you her and I say, you know, I'm wrapping her. up my visit. We're gonna do this testing. Yeah. We're gonna do this, and I call her, and she starts talking about the mind, about how oh, to address. Good stress so that's really helpful that's fantastic and yet mm -hmm. i do see that um i treat them with the medication and sometimes yes depending of the disorder they can get off the medication yeah. Yeah. but let's say they have a thyroid nodule i do a biopsy you know i take the i send them to the surgeon they have yeah. the cancer and they take the thyroid out yeah. you need thyroid hormone replacement yeah you cannot live, live without, without the thyroid. thyroid so you need a medication for the rest of your life uh, like yeah. you had you know questions yeah. from your listeners yes, that's how, you mm -hmm. cannot now you can think positive um but still need but the you've medication got no thyroid, you, you need have the no medication. thyroid you need the medication I love that. okay what you've raised is a very important point and that is this balance that we can get extreme on the one camp oh i'm just going to pray that god's going to heal me and um and god does but the fact of the matter is that god also gives us wisdom if your thyroid's 
it's gone, you need thyroid medication. God's given us wisdom to science to he's given us the beauty yeah. of science to do. So that's that's very important that, that balance that we recognize. If your thyroid's gone, you need the medication. That's not a bad thing. You still pray that the medication works, that your body responds. So it's to get that balance back yes. again, isn't it? Not yes. to the extreme on either side. Yes, that's very balance, well yeah. said. And okay. of course there are different, you know, thyroid supplements and it's a lot of yeah. battle in the thyroid world which supplement is better. Yeah. Um the better is the one that's more close to the chemistry of human thyroid hormone. Very good. Okay. Because initially, you know, a hundred years ago when, you know, hypothyroidism was discovered, they had just big thyroid crush yeah. and, and you know that, and yeah. they still have that, but that's very antigenic. You know, oh, that build, is, it's a foreign molecule. So, so that builds that. up. And, you know, some people feel good. Some people don't feel good. But it's not... The based way. Yeah. The synthetic one, which a lot of people are afraid of. And, again, yeah. there are different products with different quality. Yes. <laughs> so yes. that matters. And mm -hmm. how you take the medication. Because a lot of patients take the medication with other medicines, with and food. Then have and you have a variable um, absorption. Yeah, that's one thing patients don't realize, do they? Is, is it's very important to follow the instructions on how to take medication, when to take with food, without food, other medications. But sometimes the pharmacists don't give them the good instructions. Oh, I have so patients, issue, yeah, yeah, so, so it, there is a big issue with thyroid yeah. medication to be fasting, take with water, no coffee, no tea, no nothing, and wait an hour after you take it before you get your breakfast. And if you have yeah. supplements, you know, and again, I have patients coming with bags, bags of supplements. Of, maybe you like spoke brother. about that before, yeah. Like yeah, you don't need everything, you know, maybe you take some calcium because whatever reason or some yeah. vitamin D which is yeah. actually good but those vitamins you know they need to be like four hours apart from the thyroid medicine See, that's very important uh, and okay. you know sometimes uh, and a, a TSH is that uh, lab test we measure how the medication works in your system mm -hmm. I had patients I just rearranged their medicines but I need time because sometimes I have 20 medicines oh my gosh, yeah, so I have to go through everything and then it, both supplements and prescriptions, you know, there are prescription yeah. drugs out there a lot. Yeah. So I had to really separate them and their numbers are coming back normal That's and they incredible. feel, and they feel great. Oh, and really of course, important. in the process, I listened to them. So I built a there's relationship. A relationship. So there's a lot of mind trust stuff. me. So it's a lot Very of mind important. thing. That's incredible. Erin, you're going to come back again a lot. And so the, <laughs> Thank the, you. The, the, it's the, an honor to be here with you. But you just have so much wisdom and so much good advice. And this is what people need to hear. You know, this is a, 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 a whole aspect to medicine that I think people don't realize is, you know, that relationship, the mind, the, the importance of not mixing medications, the timing, because people just take them whenever they want. Mm -hmm. You know, they, so I've heard of people emptying a whole bunch in a in a bowl and just taking, you know, just taking a handful. There's no, and then wondering why they feel terrible. So thank you for for being here Thank with me you. today and there's so many more questions I want to ask okay. you but I'm going to have you back Next on the time. podcast and TV show very soon thank you so much for being such a dear friend and such an amazing doctor thank, thank you, you so much I appreciate thank you. thank you thank you it's an honor for me thank you